Hello, I'm Ben Prostovsky from the Intelligent Adaptive Interventions Lab at the University of Toronto, and I'm going to present on testing student supports in online homework systems. First, some quick background about the lab. We're based at the Department of Computer Science at the University of Toronto, and we conduct research on education and health using adaptive experiments. This is a picture of me in the bottom left, and in the middle is Professor Joseph J. Williams, the director of the lab. So, given COVID-19, almost all courses have been moved online recently, meaning understanding how to help students learn online has suddenly become much more important. We deployed an experiment in the PCRS online homework system for CS108, the introductory programming course at the University of Toronto. We gave the intervention in the week 10 homework exercise, followed by an optional follow-up in week 12. Each of these had five homework questions. We used a factorial design for the experiment with four factors, an instructional explanation, an additional problem, a prompt to give an explanation, and a motivational message. To measure short-term learning, we use the number of attempts to get questions two to five right in the week 10 exercise. Um, and to measure long-term learning, we use the mean number of attempts to get questions one through five right in week 12. We then subtracted the number of attempts on week 10 question one as the interventions were deployed after that question. We ha have results that explanations might have helped in the short term, but had no effect in the long term. The additional problem, on the other hand, might have helped in the long term, but not in the short term. However, statistical tests did not reveal significance, and this is an important caveat of the, the research. In the future, we're interested in incorporating an adaptive experimental design so we can maximize the number of students in the better condition at minimal cost to statistical power. Uh, we're also interested in looking at the differences between online learning as a support to mostly in-person classes and fully online learning like what we have to do now. Uh, we're also interested in testing the same trade-off in more situations. Is this effect robust across questions or weeks? Uh, we're interested in looking into that in the future. Thank you.